Today we are going to learn how to perform a horizontal mattress suture. For this, you will need a needle driver, pickups, suture scissors, suture, and your behind the knife suturing board. The horizontal mattress stitch is effective in pulling wound edges together over a distance and holding fragile skin together, for example, a skin closure on an elderly patient or a patient on chronic steroids. So we're going to start by picking up our needle drivers and loading our needle into them in the orientation for a forehand throw. The first part of the suture is performed similar to a simple interrupted suture. Depending on how far the wound edges are from each other, this throw may need to be done in two bites, such as seen here. After you completed the first forehand throw, you're going to reload the needle for a backhand throw. The next step will be performing a simple interrupted throw in a backhand fashion starting 5 to 8 millimeters away from where we came out of the wound on the initial throw. Once we perform our backhanded throw, both of the suture threads will be on the same side of the wound and we will instrument tie these ends now so that the knot is on the same side where the suture initially started. When tying this knot, the suture should be tied down snug, but not excessively tight. Once you cut this suture here, you've completed a horizontal mattress suture. 